Hello there everyone, Birdman Nom here, back in another episode of Bird Plays. Um, I'm going to start off today's episode by recapping you on what's been going on in the uh, in the LP world, in the village. Uh, and then we've got a little project today, it's found something really cool I'd like to show you. Um, but yeah, to start off, I thought I'd let you know, I finished the path up here and built this little bridge. I don't know if you like the design or not, it's quite a simple, simple bridge design, but it, it spans this gap nicely. And you've got water flowing down into the cave there. Uh, finished this path as well. Built this house here. Um, just another house. Not too pleased with how it turned out, but I'm going to leave it like that for now because I'm working on plans for this house here. Oh, this, I mean, this might even be a an inn or, or something more exciting. But today I found something very cool. Um, I'm just going to find where I wrote down the coordinates. It was on my way back from last uh, episode. So yeah, I've got the coordinates here. I'm going to make my way over there and I will see you there, at which point you'll you'll understand what we're going to be doing today. Um, and I've got a story to tell you while we do it. So, I'll see you over there. Ta-da! Oh, let me get rid of those coordinates so you've got a nice clear view. But here it is! It's a village! Um, but not just any village. I reckon the astute among you might recognise this place. Now, some of you will be aware I've just hit 200 subscribers. Whoopee! And I'll tell you what's happening about that at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Um, but maybe there's something a little bit familiar about this place to, to those of you who have been around for like the longest stretch. Maybe back to episode 3, episode 2 maybe? You remember anything about this place? Well, hold on, what's, what's going on over here? There's saplings on the floor. Who's been planting trees? <gasps> What's that? That looks like a house. It looks like the world's ugliest house. Why, it is. It's the world's ugliest house. Yep, that's right, guys. I managed to find the um, the place where I originally came and died. This is the house I built out here, and that's the village I found. And look, it's, it's all here. It was the basement I was going to dig, and, you know, for minerals, and got my little chest furnace... Oh, I didn't actually look in here. There's some meat in here and some coal. Excellent. But yeah, um, I found it. Completely coincidentally. Oh, hello. Tree just grew. Completely coincidentally, I, I found it. Now, the real reason this is a place of interest is because of the village. I'm going to be grabbing some villagers for my uh, for my village. Um, and that's when I'm going to be telling you the story uh, while I'm transporting them back. But I thought that was just remarkable to, to find it out of the blue like that and what was even cooler all of the stuff that I had I had dropped all over the floor when I died was still there the chunks hadn't ungenerated or whatever they you know they, they weren't active so the five minute de de delay delay on the items hadn't started meaning um, all my stuff was preserved exactly as it was dropped. I managed to pick it all up, take it all back. So I, I managed to find about 40 iron, a bunch of gold, some random tools, and that was like just completely uh, brilliant. I, I did it without thinking. I probably should have recorded it, but uh, anyway, there you go. This was a really, really small village, by the way. Um, literally three houses, two normal and a blacksmith, and it only has three villages, I think. I will check. Oh, maybe I should do some trades. Anyway, I'm going to grab these guys and cart them off to a safer happier place next to where I'm living because they can't look they can't grow any grass out here their wheat crop is probably failing and then they're not very happy you can see that they're, they're not even staying in their houses they're looking to move on so I'm gonna help them out with that yeah empty empty yeah it's just the three of them I'm kind of surprised they survived just on their own um, so I'm gonna move them with uh, a railroad system, the uh, the Birdman Express, and I'm going to take them to a happier new place. So I'm just going to get them on, I think, on the uh, on the carts, and then um, I haven't really got any. I'm not doing it with booster track and and all that. I'm just going to do it with uh, ordinary track and ordinary carts, and, and sort of push the whole thing. So it's going to be quite a laboured process, but. I've got a story to tell you while I do it, so hopefully it won't be too bad. And I'm going to turn that music down, because that is loud as anything. Right, hello there. Would you like to come back to a wonderful, glorious land of wonderfulness where wonderful things happen and you can make lots of money and have children and families? If so, would you hop in this cart over here, please? That's it, just this this one over here. 
You see what you stand in the corner and I'll push the cart. Maybe that'll catch you. Perfect, and one more. Just gonna lay out a bit more track. There we go. Oh, not too far. Ah Yeah, you can tell I'm not the expert at this. Um But this is this is gonna be the uh, the start to getting villagers in our in our village. So that's pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, yeah, we're probably going to have to name these guys. So since I've now, I mean, I did a naming contest a little while ago and, and got just enough responses that I managed to name my dogs. But now I actually have supposedly 200 of you, which is crazy. Um, <laughs> if you'd like to pick a name, um, then I think I'm just going to do it like by quasi-random selection uh, as to which, god damn it which names I pick, but if you just leave it in the comments and I'll pick three of the names that you guys suggest. Um, and these guys, the originals, will be uh, named after that and then from then on, hopefully, if everything's been set up alright, it'll they'll just naturally populate the, uh, the houses I've built. Oh, I can hear zombies. Um, so yeah, I suppose I should tell the story. It's, I guess if it needs a name, it's the story, is this the right way? I guess we go 400 blocks this way. And it's the story of the singing peanut man, um, and it was it, ha it all happened on the uh, London Underground, the tubes, or tube. Um, now you may have heard, I think Badge talked about it on the Minecraft podcast. But the uh, the number one rule on the tube is you don't look at anyone. You just don't look at people. Um, that's just how it works. It's a very antisocial thing where everyone sits there awkwardly and no one says anything and no one looks at you and everyone holds themselves as still and as normal as possible uh, for whatever reason um, except for this one guy he was you know nothing particular about him had sort of long curly greasyish hair and had, was this had a big pair of uh, Sony headphones on I couldn't make out the the type but they were the, the ones that go on your ears not like all around them but equally not in them he sort of sit, sit on them. And he was bobbing his head to the music when uh, he obviously felt a bit peckish for whatever reason. Uh, reached into his bag, brought out a bag of peanuts. Now, nothing particularly uh, extraordinary about this. People eat on the tube, you know, have a snack, get hungry, whatever. It was the way in which he ate the peanuts which um, had me very much entertained. He took them out one at a time, sort of stared them down as if unsure whether or not they were actually a peanut and questioning their... Uh, reality and then in time to the music he would start to bob his head all do, whilst holding the peanut in front of him start bobbing his head and then he'd start singing he'd just sing to whatever music was and just really intensely staring at the peanut the whole time as though sort of serenading it um, before eating it and he would continue to do this so he did this for about three or four peanuts and he looked up saw me watching him without stopping singing, looked back at his peanut and carried on singing to it. So I thought, you know, this is slightly odd. Um, and he wasn't getting off any station soon, and neither was I, so I just continued to watch him. Um, and so, yeah, he kept singing to his peanuts. Every now and then he'd stop. Maybe the song would change, the tempo would change, but he'd, he'd sing along to them. Oh, this is going to get tricky at night. Um, and, uh, and then, after a few peanuts, he felt, he obviously felt somewhat satisfied with the number of peanuts he had, so he reached into his bag and got out one of those big, like, two-litre bottles of water. Um, and uh, took a big drink from it, which consisted of throwing a very large amount of water down his front, uh, but, you know, sort of just pouring it down himself, in a way, uh, whilst drinking it. Um, he then did a sort of comedic, like, almost as, as though in a cartoon, he sort of wiped the entire length of his arm along his uh, along his face <laughs> to wipe up the peanuts, got the bag of peanuts out and started singing again. <laughs> and he would just like, he would be going, and just singing along to the peanuts. <laughs> sort of occasionally doing them in handfuls, occasionally one at a time. The most bizarre thing. Intensity with the peanut, with which he was singing to his peanuts. He then stopped the music, put the peanuts away, stood up, and got off the train. And it was like it was the most surreal thing for me, because he was clearly. Ah, ah, ah. Oh.
Oi, no hitting the villagers. I've never witnessed a man so uh, intent on entertaining his food. Um, there you are, there's the story of the singing peanut man. Completely random, I know, but sometimes I thought it'd be nice if I shared some of the uh, rubbish that I find entertaining with you guys. Obviously, I'm not a great storyteller, so it's probably a little bit boring, but uh, that was that, and it got me about 20 blocks. <laughs> So I think I'm going to have to do this mostly off camera, um, which isn't a problem. But before I do, I thought I'd chat to you a bit more about um, 200 subs. Now, as you know, I think I've mentioned it before that I'm not hugely... I don't put a huge emphasis on subscriber numbers. It's how much the subscribers care about what I'm doing that I take pride or interest in. Get lost! Um... So as long as those of you who are subscribed enjoy and, and watch my videos, albeit only the ones you like, that's fine. But at the same time, it's... Oh my god, what? where did they... Okay. That is strange. Um, at the same time, reaching a, a number like 200 is significant. It does mean that we're... You know, getting bigger, and they're now you know bigger than some people, smaller than everyone else. Um, so I mean, that, that is important. And as a result, I thought it, I'd use it as a. I don't understand what's going on here. Has anyone have ever? Oh, don't want him to blow them up. Has anyone ever had this before? Disappearing villagers. This is really bizarre. Okay, it's slightly worrying as well. Um, so I've decided that 200 is as good a number as any to decide to maybe give live streaming a go. Um, I know it's something that's growing in popularity. Though I, I, I'd be using Twitch TV as a live streaming service. Um, and just be live streaming a mixture of casual games to, you know, shoot. And, like, I, I don't know. Basically, at the moment, I, I'm very, very inexperienced when it comes to this whole... Um, area of gaming if you like oh for god's sake um so basically guys can it go on ice no okay that's fine um let me know what you think uh you know whether it's something you would be interested in or actually you don't you don't care you don't watch live streams um, either way, you know, I, I don't mind. I think there are also people who don't necessarily watch YouTube as much as they watch live streams, and maybe they'd be interested in watching me and, you know, not my YouTube or whatever. I think I've looked into the sort of stuff you need to, to do it, you know, specifications and internet and, and whatnot, and I think it's entirely feasible if I, if I, you know, put the effort into setting it up. So it's just a matter of doing it, really, um, which can't be too hard. These cows are bothering me. Um, but yeah, like I said, you've got to let me know and, and maybe how many of you will be interested. I think I'm going to mention it in my Kerbal videos as well because I, I, I do realise I don't get full viewership on these videos. But, you know, if you want, guys will maybe want to see adventure maps or um, the Minecraft subreddit server I play on or... Um, I don't, you know, whatever. Let me know. Um, maybe Day Z. I I play a bit of that in my spare time. Um, what else? Spiny of Isaac. I play, but I haven't. I don't make on on YouTube. All this, all these kind of games, which maybe you're interested in watching, and I don't provide on on here. You could uh, catch them on uh, on a on a live stream. You know. Um, so yeah. Let me know what you think. I'm not going to be doing it just yet because although the number of subscribers has reached 200, the way subscribers and YouTube works is you can lose and gain them very, very easily. So I don't think I'm going to call it a secure 200 until about 210, at which point I know I've definitely got 200 like keen subscribers. Um, but once I reach that, I'll I'll be I'll put up. The way I'll do it, I'll probably I'll put up an announcement on my Twitter because I, I I'm, I'm not very active on that, but I will. Basically, at the moment, if you follow that, you get 
a series of uh, notifications about what I liked, uploaded, viewed, that sort of stuff, which I know you guys aren't interested in. But uh, once I start live streaming, it will become a... Have these guys, like, seriously disappeared? I've just realised I've been pushing a bunch of empty carts. Uh, oh, no, they're all there. He's fallen into the floor. That's unfortunate. Okay. Are you in that? Yes, you are. Good. Um, what was I just talking about? What was I just talking about? I know I was talking about live streaming. Games, possible games. I mean... Yeah, I mean... I get ideas in my head, but until I hear from you the reality of what, what you want or are interested in, they're entirely changeable. I mean, maybe you, you aren't interested in live streaming on the whole and would rather see me build a big castle for 200 subs. But, you know, I think something more permanent would maybe be more, more appreciated and actually more fun for me because quite often I don't have the time to sit and record and also uh, render and edit and all of that uh, so being able to just sit down and press play almost on the live stream would be a lot easier um, to get content to you guys uh, at a regular regular rate so uh, I think because this has run on a bit I told my terrible story and uh, I've told you about 200 subs I think I'm going to oh, bother um, I think I'm gonna call it a day here. I'm, you know, I'm still trying to work out the optimal length for these episodes, but I think, although not a lot happened today, you know, the village quite exciting. I, by the way, the blacksmith, I did look in the blacksmith. Um, I must have got it last time I was in that village, like in episode two. If you're interested, actually, I'm going to put the episode where I built that terrible, terrible house uh, in the description, so you can check it out there. Um, be sure and stay tuned for more. Uh, videos I guess more Minecraft more Kerbal um, hit the like button to let me know if you liked it um, comment to let me know what you think about everything I've said and specifically the, the live streaming um, and if you haven't already uh, make sure and subscribe to see plenty more of my videos um, so that's it guys as ever thanks for watching and uh, I will see you in the next video alright bye